um, what we're going to look at today is uh, draw runner sets. This is uh, the ability to control the draws on an automated uh, fashion. When you have, for example, a draw box uh, that we're looking at here, I have a specified height of a first draw and the second two heights of these two drawers are set to an equal amount. Now I don't need to touch these if I just specify the right height by configuring my runner set correctly. So let's have a look at that. Currently we're using the Tan Blum Tandem Box range of drawers. So up at my drawing properties, this can be done at the catalog to make a permanent change. We are looking here at the hardware section and I am currently using the metal premium runners which are otherwise known as the Tanner Box. In here I'm currently configured to the Blum Tanner Box but I don't yet have the Blum Antaro which is a new series of drawers. So what I am going to do is I am going to go into my metal premium set and from here I find I still do not have the choice yet. So if I find in the background I want to add another range I can simply add a new one. If I come to here and put in, it makes a bit of sense to put a bit of further name if you wanted to. So for example, put in the inserter or the screw, or you might find in your factory, you just simply use one type. So it's not actually relevant. I'm just going to go with Blum and Taro. Okay. So now we've added that pack. If we come now to the Antaro, we'll notice that there is nothing inside this pack. So this is where we go and edit it. Sometimes you may find you may need to jump out of Capmaster to see that set arrive if that's the case. Now the first height I am going to go by, now these, these heights I'm going to go by the internal height. If I look at a Blum catalogue for example, a Blum actually tells us the specification. So for example an N height draw you can see here on the page, the specification of the minimum volume required is 82.5 and so on for the M is 98.5 and as we progress up to a higher sided draw for example the uh, C side would come next which is the 196 then the uh, 228 and so on. These will tell us the minimum height requirements that we go with. So for my first choice of draw I drop down the list here and I go looking for an end draw. You will notice there's lots of variations of each draw. It's because there's slightly different choices available. So I'm going to find the Blum Antaro N 30 kilo screw front version. Now, if I wanted to base it off the volume like the book is specifying, this is where I simply enter that. If I wanted to go by how high my panel fronts are, I would engage this and then I would talk about the panel front heights. I'm going to go by those internal heights that it tells me in the book. So 98.5. If I press the tab key, I now open up the next category. So now I go looking for my M height draw. So my M 30 kilo screw. And my next draw choice is going to be my 196, which should be relevant to my C height. So I will go find my C height draw. Now in the C height, there's the choice of metal element versus no element in Blum's terminology on this configuration draw. That is the difference between a, a solid sidewall and a gallery rail version. I'm going to go with a no, just a gallery rail version. So you just about picked the wrong one before. C, no element, 30 kilo screw. And then finally, my last draw choice is the D side, which is a 229. 228, but one millimeter is not going to make a difference to me. And then I'm going to go with my 30 kilo, no element. So there's that one. So if I apply, I update. I press OK. Now what we'll see is when we come to this next stage back here, this list will populate with my choices. Now in the background over here, I do have my draw cabinet open. You'll notice that once I come out of here, that is actually going to populate the changes through to my cabinet because I have not yet told it what to do with those who so is doing what my drawing properties is doing. So when I press OK out of here, you'll notice that these names will change. And there they are. So we've now switched over to the Antaro M and the Antaro D and the Antaro D. So if I teach my packs correctly, it is a simple case of a customer might come in and say, I would like to change my range of drawers to these ones. And once we've got these packs configured, they simply automatically change for us, which makes it for a designer and a machinist very easy to switch between them. Thanks you all for listening. Yeah.